Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, I'm going to talk about MS Ramaya Institute Technology, MSRIT or it's called RIT also. I'm going to cover the latest placements of 2024 batch, right? And it is one of the top notch institutions in Karnataka. And if you go by NIRF ranking, last year NIRF ranking was 67. So by that standard, it was rated as the number one college in Karnataka in the private engineering college category, right? So number one under BTO. So talking about the campus, it has got a very good decent size campus with a modern infrastructure and some of the uh, pictures you can see here. This is one of the multipurpose block and that is the main building of Ramaya, which is heritage block, which is very often seen. And this is their engineering sciences block, right, where all the engineering branches are also located. And um, apart from that, you, in this particular, you can see the architecture block. You can see the in electrical sciences block. And then the library and the hostel, they provide facilities for both boys and girls with the hygienic food and uh, all the um, you know, TV, lounge and uh, other capacity with the capacity of 1500 seats, right? So which is quite decent, right? So not talking directly on the courses part of it first, like uh, the programs. So talking about in the uh, alphabetic order, you know, artificial intelli intelligence and data science, artificial intelligence and machine learning. So two branches of CSE specialization. Then you have biotechnology, you have chemical engineering, civil engineering on the core side and the CSC which is core branch computer science engineering and after that you also get computer science engineering with specialization in EIML right and computer science engineering with the specialization in cyber security. So a lot of uh, CSC related branches are there, electrical and electronics engineering on the core side electronics and communication engineering ECE and also electronics and instrumentation engineering which are the specialization branches of electronics. Now you also have electronics and telecommunication which is also an specialization branch of electronics, industrial engineering management IEM and then information science engineering which is also computer branch and mechanical engineering and they do have medical electronics engineering and the architecture course which is also BR with 5 years bachelor degree program. So directly I will jump now to the placements part of it which I am showing here last you know almost 6 years placement including 2024 and these are not the number of students placed but the number of offers because each student may have more than one offer so these are total number of offers year wise so best year was like 2022 you can see 1719 and then last year also it was excellent 1426 and this particular year 2024 it's a you know very recession year but in this year also it is showing 1174 offers which is quite excellent and it has a stand up its true its reputation right right now the actual number of students placed and the median salaries are all are part of the NIRF placement data. So this is the latest information which is available. So this shows last three years placement data. You can see in 2021 batch around 1121 students were eligible out of which 877 got placed. So placement percentage you can consider around 70% placement and the median salary was 5.5 lakhs and 233 students went for the higher studies right so lower end branches students mostly may not get placed they will go for higher studies 1124 students in 2022 batch out of which 897 close to 900 students got placed and the median salary increased to 6.15 lakhs and the 2023 it is showing the best performance of its you know so 1121 students eligible and 841 got placed and the median salary also increased to 8 lakhs. So that is showing the trend that the median salaries are increasing and 8 lakhs is a quite good median salary. That means out of 841 around 420 students got at least 8 lakhs package. So that is showing good trend and 
now i will talk about the 2024 placements so the 2024 placements and the other details will now follow now this is the trend of the highest cities for last uh, five six years you see uh, mostly it was uh, you know 40 lakhs and 30 lakhs in that range up to 2022 but in 2023 the highest salary increased to 50 lakhs and then this year in the times of recession also the highest salary is 40 lakhs and the ongoing prior placements and this is the june month which i have covered till date placements right so these are the salary trends media salary trends you have seen now you want to know about the branch wise placement which branches you can take so first is the computer science engineering and uh, 172 offers right so this is quite excellent number of offers you can go for csc information science bin branch iac is even better show than the csc branch so total number of iac offers are 207 you can go for iac ec offers are also very good 143 offers you can go for ec also Triple E, the total number of offers are 69, the total number of seats are also lower. 50 is the telecommunication engineering, EIE which is electronics and instrumentation engineering, 72 offers and then you know ML branch which is medical electronics branch only 28 students got placed. Mechanical engineering also 98 offers were there industrial engineering management 54 offers were there chemical engineering only 23 offers you can avoid chemical civil engineering also only 31 offers you can avoid civil biotechnology also 13 offers you can avoid those few branches right so if a branch has more than 50 offers you can consider them it's a top-notch college some chances of placements are there but if the number of offers are lesser you know it will be a risk right you can go for the other better options basically in case you are mtech students total number of offers in mtech is also very low 38 so basically now mtech the placements are reducing a year and year so mtech is also not a good option and mca 27 offers which is not good so mba 149 offers were those so mba was good so most of the branches uh, has shown lower placement trend this year but overall this is an excellent option for students in karnataka that's all i have to cover thanks for watching and please do subscribe to get similar updates on placement trends and all the colleges in karnataka take care and bye